We are live. It's we are live. Monday night. Hey, guys. Sketchy Live Monday. You have made it to the Sketchy Live podcast. Tonight, we're not drawing. Tonight, we're podcasting. How are you doing? I'm Johnny Jalopy, and with me is my beautiful wife, Eddie B. Hello, hello. Welcome to the show. Seven years we've been doing this now, mm -hmm. and we're so happy that you're here. Can't wait to talk about all the good stuff that we got to plan to share with you, talk to you about, get you in, involved in the chat with us. So, uh, Eddie B, what do you think? I think we should get it going. Let's do this. <laughs> back guys hey yes we are back sketchy live the podcast and i will tell you if you have a fun beverage pop that sucker pop it open. Up. we're celebrating tonight we are we've i don't got, know why we've got <laughs> birthday boy johnny jalopy uh double digits on my favorite number yep number happy five birth happy birthday to you thank you 55 today 55 so years. i'm gonna crack a cold beverage and say cheers to all of you that sent birthday wishes and and uh, cheers. Katie B's got vodka, so she wanted to just have an empty glass. Uh, thank you so much to all of those that sent birthday wishes and happy birthdays and all that kind of stuff. It was sure awesome uh, getting those through the weekend. And of course, Katie B's pressuring me to have the birthday month, and I don't know about all that. <laughs> We're gonna ride it out. <laughs> nah, but uh, sure, sure, appreciate it all, and um, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Yes, and we did a fantastic surprise party for him last night. That uh, was a really bunch cool. Of our, I don't know how you pulled it off. A bunch of our local friends, our fellowship. Yeah. Um, just what a great time with everybody. So appreciative. We had like 38 people uh, show up for that last yeah, night. Yeah, I, I didn't even know I knew 38 huge. people. <laughs> <laughs> and all a total surprise. He had no idea. No clue super overwhelmed which was my goal yeah we, so. it was well, awesome uh we'll kind of talk about the day and stuff like that but uh, hey you've made it to sketchy live monday the podcast uh tonight we plan to talk about all kinds of good stuff uh, yes uh we we went to a local car show we wanted to talk about that we met yes. some really cool people met really uh really cool um person uh that we'd like to we're gonna kind of spotlight as well um and then we just the weekend of driving around and uh, we got to take cone out on the road and spend more time and do some car stuff this weekend which was great mm -hmm. and then um yeah just some other stuff we'll talk about it as we go along so hey welcome to sketchy live the yeah. podcast i'm johnny jalopy hot rod artist um doodle hack whatever you want to call it uh usually every monday night we'll do some sort of a cool cartoon hot rod we've been doing that for so such a quite a long time mm -hmm. but the pressures of uh, trying to come up with a car every single monday was starting to get to me after 200 and and so, i think we're almost at 300 let's be let's be really honest though about why we're doing podcasts more and it's because when you're drawing don't you don't talk. really get to talk you're yeah. super focused and go look at last week <laughs> i'm <week's. laughs> i'm holding it all together yeah. and you know thank god we have the participation yes. of you guys because otherwise i would be dead in the water over here that's right but there's a lot of stuff that we we want to talk about yes and, and, and tonight is one of those nights yes that we do uh, anyways to my uh right your left Itty B, my beautiful wife, uh, who at the beginning of this uh, endeavor, Sketchy Live, which it was called Monster Mondays mm -hmm. in the beginning, in the beginning. Uh, I had to really coax and 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 hope, you know, just please, please help me. I, I really have this idea. I think it'd be fun. I think you'd be great at it. And of course, you know, now four seasons later, four, five seasons, seven years. So maybe it's more than that. But, seven uh, seasons. Okay, seven seasons. That's why she's over there. She's the linchpin, holds it all together. Uh, you know, yeah, she she's like a duck to water. So uh, so happy that we're doing this together. As so, am I. Itty B. 
who's on the broadcast we've got a bunch we've got frank pupello stopping in hey What's boys up, and frank? girls time for sketchy drum on? sketchy live drum roll we got paul marziani from bradenton paul Florida. marziani robert spear joining us from the bantha milk podcast that's right and now a uh, shoe artist oh right yes. i have seen his shoe mm -hmm. art. super cool super cool yes. excited to see more um he said by the way i love the intro video nice yes. thanks We've we uh have had had that for a little while. Yeah, actually. couple couple yeah, seasons couple now. Seasons. It's probably on its way out because we do have. We're hoping mm. we've met these really great musicians, Fingers and we're hoping crossed. to uh get them to do our our intro. Intro. Yeah, we're gonna. God, talk I feel to like about the it. camera needs to move that way, but whatever. We're gonna roll. Um, Lizzie Daughtry is joining us. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Fun hey, what's day. up, Lizzie? We've got Jamie Russell in what's the up, house. Johnny? Happy birthday, Johnny. Hey, thanks so much. We've got Lizzie Daughtry um, giving her YouTube, Ms. Butterfree34. Butterfree. Go check out her stuff over there Butterfree. on her channel. Uh, Jean-Paul Vandertak, happy birthday from well, the Netherlands. What's up, Jean-Paul? So happy that you're here, man. Thanks. Um, from the night shift, by the way. Mm. <laughs> um, Working on the night shift. Paul Marziani and Lizzie are saying happy birthday. Thank you so We've got much. Robert Spear. Can't try 55. My wife's birthday yes. is also today. Oh, happy got, birthday. Oh, happy birthday to her. Yes. I can't wait to tell you my can't drive 55 story. Oh my God, it's so funny. It's so funny. And um, we've got Hex. My Hex. Hex 55, my favorite car. And yes. here I was born. Happy birthday. What's up, Hex? We've got Draco Cycles joining us from Georgia. S there he is. Happy the birthday, the man, JJ. The myth, the legend. Um, Draco. Draco has been sending me little sneak peeks of his artwork. Oh, yeah? That he's been doing. That's awesome. Um, today he sent me one and I didn't get a chance to show it to you yet. It's a, it's a little house and he's like, where's this from? What's this house? I didn't know because I'm not a foff. But I think you're going to get it. Oh, I'll pop, yeah. yeah. As soon as I see it. As I'll, soon as he sees it. Yeah. We've got Cameron McDonald Hello, joining me us. Do, uh, <laughs> I just talked a little while ago and we I got did. to speak to my beautiful granddaughter. Got didn't to get, video. I was bummed I didn't get to see my grandsons, but they were uh, coming home from school. Right. Um, Wesley Wilkerson joining us. Happy birthday. You're only seven years behind me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cam says, happy birthday again, Dad. Love you. Thank you so much. Love um, we've you too. got Gary Fisher. Fish on. Fish on. Happy Another birthday. phenomenal, amazing fabricator, designer. Out in the PNW. All around, all around great guy. He is. The and, laugh. Uh, yeah. Just, the infectious oh, laugh. Just, yeah. I've never even met him in person. I, and I love the guy. <laughs> I, I gotta. I, I hope and hope and I know he's a busy man. And he's been doing so he much is. stuff, but I really miss. Uh, I think it was Fish Fridays or something like that, where he'd come on and he was doing these little videos. I miss those. So, uh, Gary Fisher, if get you're back listening. to doing those, man. We miss those. <laughs> We've got Brian. They were, so, they were just so positive and just awesome. So, Brian and Lisa McCoy joining us from Louisiana. Happy Cooyan birthday, Johnny! Customs. The McCoys are here and getting ready for our 25th wedding anniversary Wednesday. And Lisa what? hasn't kicked my ass out yet. Well, happy anniversary. <laughs> happy anniversary. Well, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We've got Julie Anderson joining <laughs> us. Happy birthday, she says. Brian and Lisa, I've been watching a bunch of videos uh, where they're. Uh, there's a gentleman on YouTube that uh, Pete something I can't remember his name, but he's been uh, visiting Louisiana and visiting a lot of the the Cajun country and uh, talking about the culture and the food and stuff like that. So I'm really boning up on my col my Cajun culture too, so that when we we see each other finally, we're coming. We're gonna come. Uh, at some I will not point. be a nav, but I don't know if I could do that. I'm just the only thing I'm a little scared of is the uh, is the crawfish. I'm not eating it. They look. It looks amazing. No. It looks like little. And then they suck the heads. Yeah, no. that looked good. Not happening. Sorry. <laughs> um, did you see uh, Spud and Julie Anderson when we went on the cruise with them? Yes. Posting on your yep. Yeah, he, uh, Spud sent me a picture of <laughs> of uh, what I think was a they gave me a birthday cake or something. Or we did a birthday celebration yeah. for you while we were on the cruise because yeah, it was, it was fun. during the time of your birthday. So mm -hmm. fun. We've got good Mary times. Evans joining us, our oh, sister in Christ there over she is. here. The Evans are the best. They, are. they were such great people. And yes. thank you again so much for the really cool gift. Um Dale Renner joining us. Happy birthday, JJ. Dale Renner. Ooh, what this is, is going a, on, man. From Flagler, Quint Parker. I like the name. From Quint. Flagler. Quint. Flagler, uh, Fla Florida. Flagler, where? Flagler Beach. Flagler Beach. Fla Maybe there are other Flaglers. Maybe Arlo. Arlo. Yes. Captain Bob and Arlo. What's up, man? Welcome. Super from artist Arlo Wisconsin. Tillman. 
Is it Wisconsin? It is Wisconsin. Yes. I don't know if I don't know. I think he I think he lives there. Are you in Wisconsin? Yeah. We've got Roger Menard joining What's us up, with Roger? a happy birthday. Yes, hi. Uh George Makeart. What's up, George? Uh, am I butchering it again? Makeart. I, I think it's Ma- Make my chart. No, I think it's Makeart. Okay. Or Ma- Macart. Hmm. Damn it. Either way. Every time. I'm this, sorry. But George. yeah, you'll do this one right. George the glass man. Um, so he's saying happy birthday. And we've got Eldon Gustavo Venancio. Hello, my friends. Follow me on Instagram. He's posting it. Oh, for sure. Us. Cool VW site. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ralph Pop Sanchez joining us from San Antonio. What's up, Ralph Pop Sanchez? How are y'all? Weather is great. Big goose egg on the eclipse. Oh, no. Yeah, I got to see a smidge of it today. Yeah, well, we're in Florida. That wasn't really yeah. going to get us. Tommy Rouse joining us. Welcome. Diane Cannery. Ray and Diane. What's going on, right? They had a great eclipse day. She sent me a nice a little thing of the Oreo. Did you see the Oreo? Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> That's about as close to the, the eclipse stuff I was gonna do. Pretty much. Or seeing a Mitsubishi. Yeah. <laughs> We've got some of our Southeast Michigan hot rod gang on here. We've got Nicole Ferguson. Ferguson. We've got Nicole. Jay Newby. What's up? Welcome. Bo Van Gogh. Bo Van Gogh. Thanks for the happy birthdays, man. Um, Ray Swearingen joining us. Happy birthday. We've got Kevin Grimm. You forgot um, 40 Mamba there? No, that's that's George. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we've got Brian Bentley. Hi from NLR, Arkansas. Nice. What's North? North. LR. Louisiana. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Near land. Devin Rains joining us. We got Scott Ferguson <laughs> with Scotty a happy Ferg. birthday greeting. Did you does everybody know Scott Ferguson? He is famous. He is Cavalcade famous. of Customs. Ferg's hot rod and, shop. Uh, his own hot rod shop, too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Quent is in Flagler Beach. We love it oh. over there. We, we frequent that but area. But is it Flagler Beach, Florida? Yeah. Well, sure you're assuming. I am assuming. We do like that area. Matt Williams joining us. What's Chris Molinsky joining us. Thanks so much for the happy birthday. Brian Bentley. we got um, some people on. We do have said thank you so much for the love. I, I, there was over 400 happy birthday greetings yeah, on your page. And again, that's why I, I want to, again, send such a special thank you very much to everybody who posted stuff on my page, the all the pages, and, and sent me personal messages and all that kind of stuff. It's just, you know. Just when you think you're irrelevant, you know, you people pop on and they, they give you a little bit of love and they're encouraging and all that kind of stuff. It just it's awesome. So thank you guys so much. NLR was North Little Rock. Okay. Oh, I love it. And we've got <laughs> Hank D joining us, our, our there he wonderful is. Web, designer, in the his house. web hoster, all things web. Yeah. Birthday on bit, he says. It is on bit. So, okay, that's getting us caught up on everybody getting joining us, us for the moment. Up. Um, so let's talk birthday weekend extravaganza yeah it was really cool we so, did start this on friday i mean you night. did a whole like hey what do you want to do and i was like well i'd like i mean so i mean there was no dough weekend was this weekend yeah, which and we it just i really wanted to go but it was camping and do and it just wasn't enough time frame for us to get really for anyone who doesn't know what no dough is go ahead and explain yeah, so no dough I, I don't really know it because i've never been so no dough is uh i believe it's either it's in orange county florida so I think that's almost like near Day, or maybe it's yeah. I think it's near Daytona. Yeah, somewhere over there. Um, where's your aunt live? Port Orange. Port Orange. Maybe it's somewhere. Around. Anyways, uh, it's over there. But it's like a three day uh, bug show, and it's like a camp out, and then you cruise, and then you camp out kind of thing. And so, uh, yeah, I, I just there was so I was working Friday, so there was no really way to go Friday, Saturday, and we had fellowship on Sunday. I didn't want to miss because it's been like almost. Because, you know, coming back from, as soon as we came back from Adorama, I mean, I worked just about every weekend yeah. for the next month, it yeah, felt it like. Tough. So I didn't want to miss uh, going to Bible Fellowship because it's very important to me and, you know, for my own walk and stuff. So um, I didn't want to miss. So, so that as much one as I, day open, really. So, which was Saturday. And I was like, wow, that's a long haul just for cruise up, cruise back. Us not really knowing the, the gig. Right. So um, we're hoping that maybe next year we'll plan a little more and maybe we'll try to make do it as a birthday thing maybe next year. No doubt. But what was neat is that there was a car show. Um, and I know Lizzie had told us last week there was one, yeah, out there was in, Date one City, in Date but City near us. There was a local there was a couple of uh, two local miles car, down the road, local car shows. And then there was one that was basically two miles down yeah. the road. And it's a pretty good show. It was really big um, it's a, a, at a church. And there was probably at least I would say 50, 60 yeah, it might have been a hundred cars. Maybe, it was a lot. Yeah. A lot of a big variety of them. Mm-hmm. And uh the last time I 
in the midst of building uh, Kona Five, uh, I was gonna bring it in in kind of a in a in process <laughs> yeah. uh, to the show just for fun, and they were like, "Yeah, bring it on down." And then it just I was like, "Ah, shit, how am I gonna get it there?" And there wasn't enough time. So, anyways, I was like, I got to get back to that show because I really want to go. It seemed like really nice people, and it was very fun. And you know, it's here in the shade. It was good. Great. The weather was amazing. Oh, the Saturday. Yeah, oh my perfect. god, for us in Florida, man, it was just it was beautiful. A little slight breeze, probably in the mid seventies. Mm -hmm. It was just gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, we cruised the bug out to the show. Got a lot of great reaction immediately yeah. as soon as we parked. People were just in droves. We hadn't even signed up for registration stuff yet, really. And people were just already coming over. And what and look, is it? Was at. the biggest question. <laughs> yeah. What well, What is it? We saw it was a but we weren't sure though. So it was that was cool. The mm -hmm. The response was amazing. And then um got to got parked next to some really cool people, uh, uh, uh to a couple of Johns. Yes. <laughs> and the coolest part again, just for me to see, every time we go to a car show, my my favorite part is just listening to people talk about their car tell their story yeah. how they how they fell Why? in love with it where they got it from um, yes and i feel like even we were talking about this like even the most introverted people because there's some of these people just like stay with their car and they don't move mm -hmm. they don't spoke until spoken to but as soon as you ask them about their car they have an entire story to tell and i feel like it's it's so healing for people with those issues. Well, because... what was interesting is that guy John next to us uh, was driving a a a, tr a truck that isn't specifically like like his was uh, it was one of the rare fifties uh, Dodge trucks that I've seen that I was like I, I kind of like what he did to it. I liked it. It was still pretty stock. He had done some stuff with the stance and um and you know um wheel combo and and did a little custom touches on the grill and remove the bumpers and he did some cool stuff and that generally is not a an, a really good looking truck uh it's usually a little tough to make it look good and and he had uh, pulled it off anyways it, so he was kind of already i think a little bit like i know it's not the most sought after truck he was kind of making it not excuses but kind of and i was like dude it looks great. Yeah. Like I if you really, you know, when you really look, look at it, the, the guys at Dodge, when they were doing it, I mean, from the factory, the, the hood uh, was pancaked and that's a custom touch that a lot of guys with Fords and Chevys and, and just and, and custom cars in general. That's a, that's a technique to try to make the car look more where they really bring the nose of the car down and get the, the front of the car smaller. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Dodge did that factory that, you know, the, the, the problem was is the fenders they chose to go with afterward were a little bulbous, but uh, and then he took this big giant bumper off that usually everybody keeps, and he took it off, and it showed this really beautiful uh, uh, another great design by the guys guys at Dodge in the grill surround the, 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 these cool moldings that were part of the body uh, stamping mm. that were just gorgeous, and they were hidden because mm. the grills are usually ugly. Uh, mostly ugly and and um you know he'd put this really great um stainless steel slat type grill you see them like vans and stuff but it was such a, a really nice touch small little customization and it was just like dude that look at how much custom it brought out in the car that was already factory mm -hmm. that was hidden by all this safety stuff boo <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so I'm, I'm sure for him a little bit of like you know, having not the most sought after vehicle when you really look at, you know, not everybody's going for well, a 50 stock opinion, truck. But but I know I'm just saying yeah. that that's, I mean, it was, it was like an early 50s. But, anyways, um, it's not, you know, it's like it an international or stuff. It's a little, a little tricky, but he looked, look, look cool the touches that he had done to it. Super so. nice. Uh, and really father really cool son yeah. combo. Some and, people from Jersey. So, yeah. your, your, your peeps. Yeah. Yeah. So, you guys had lots to talk about. I walked we off did. and then, you know, I came back and I'm like, <laughs> Jesus. The guy's still talking to my wife. What's going on here? I made friends. Um, you, you, you always do. And then very when, quickly. when we did walk around, um, we were looking at those 32 Fords and you pointed out oh, yeah. something really that I, I wouldn't have known mm -hmm. to look for. But we did talk about this in a prior episode yeah. as far as the front axle. So it, it looked like some of this, the gentleman that had this car and again we're not talking like hey like this is bad or good or whatever but it's just odd like i was like Ugh, i don't know if i'd have made that choice 
mosquito mosquito guy, guy. <laughs> <laughs> we're being bombed <laughs> take take cover <laughs> um <laughs> it does sound like like you know they're invading yeah um but yeah it was a it was a uh 32 ford uh which, which looked like it was probably full fendered very recently and they had decided to put a mustang 2 suspension on the front end and then i'm assuming when it was fully fendered which mm -hmm. works great because it's all hidden and then that makes the ride amazing and you can drop the front end down and i bet it looked really cool with the fenders on it well this particular person decided and i you know, watch he's watching a uh, particular person decided to take the fenders off and so all you see is this mustang 2 front end on a 32 ford where you would see usually see the you know regular drop you know axle i will and say it didn't, and, and i showed you and i'm like hey I everybody's got their it. flavors but look at the differences in in just the look of the front end which one looks more it just looked cleaner aesthetically pleasing yeah. to you to the eye and, and and of course looked correct like even where wheels were placed were a little bit different so. it wasn't as bulky the, the way it should have been done um with the frame was the drop down and you said they could well, have that, the that was the axle yeah right but that part alone in comparison to the way it was just so bulky because he had some extra well because stuff. again it was a it was a it's it wasn't an a yeah. a an axle it was a, a mustang which was independent suspension mm. which again i bet a ride's amazing and probably looked ride road amazing when the fenders were on it um but i'm you know but you know who, who's to say the guy's not he in, be in the, in middle the midst of, of project right. and was just like, hey, I got the fenders off. My next move is I've already got the drop axle ordered and you know all that, the you know my spring for the front and going to redo the whole thing that way. That's a possibility. But uh, it was, it, but you were like, How did, I didn't even see that. And I'm like, no, oh, I didn't. It, stu it stood out to me really <laughs> a lot because I'm looking at like paint jobs and ooh, what are the seats look like? The, what they the color for the of his seats. car was beautiful. the color. It really was pretty. Candy car. apple red. It was yeah. gorgeous. And I, I'm not the type of person that would l look at those details. I am going to now though because it really made a difference it, it, aesthetically. Yeah. Now you understand. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. And. And had we not already talked about the way it, mm -hmm. um, the axle dropped, I boy, well, you saw how much lower the front yeah. of that. It, it, but again, the Mustang two front end, well, I'm sure, pretty sure it was a Mustang two front end. Um, on on the car, had it had fenders, it would have covered all of right, that. Right, you want to see? You it. wouldn't have seen that, and right. it would have tucked the wheels up into the fenders, and it would have looked great. Mm -hmm. And you you'd have thought, oh wow, look, a, a fenderless thirty two. And then there's this fendered 32 five. They were both five windows, mm -hmm. and you would have seen this this cool styling choice differences between going, you know, fenders, non fenders. Mm -hmm. You know, where with fenders can look really amazing, but again, it's got to be done right. And I would get why somebody would drop do that suspension because now you got a great handling car as well with a more modern suspension. Right. So I get I get the choices and performance. Oh, um, it was I, a learning moment for me, for yeah. sure. And again, I wasn't pointing out like what an idiot. I was more pointing it out to you, like, oh, here's the difference. Hey, here's a great way to see right. in this specific car the suspension differences of how traditional would look versus someone maybe who is doing more of a street rod type thing. And and again, all I thought was this recently had the fenders pulled off because mm -hmm. I, I just don't think somebody would have gone fenderless and then made the choice but i again who's to say right you know they might have been going no i I'm, i want it to handle good a couple of my favorite cars there there was a 1951 jeep which i thought was so cute yeah the willies yeah, yeah that, that was, was that, really that was cute. a really cool that old tractor it was like oh, 19 and that was the other one the tractor 20s or 18 18 this thing was or, i don't know it was, giant it was so cool giant. and so art deco yeah uh i did i don't did i take pictures of i that? think you did um damn, I, I wish I would have posted post it. Yeah. But it was it was amazing. And the guy said he had just pulled it out of a barn and he goes, Yeah, pulled the gas out, put new fuel in it. He goes, It'll run on anything. Diesel, gas, kerosene, it'll run on whatever you put in it. Mm -hmm. And he's yeah, I guess he's tried them all. <laughs> and um the only thing that he had updated was the, the seat. seat. Yeah. But everything else was it was amazingly cool. The whole fenders were covered on, in the rear. And then it just had this Art Deco-y looking, um, I got, not a windshield, but um, a front cover to protect the, the driver. Like a fairing um, 
some sort. But as he, I listened to him and he said it was from a, a it was from a, a citrus farm. Yeah. Oh, so it really? worked in okay. a citrus farm. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, that was a pretty neat piece. And then um, we had actually entered into the modified division, yeah. <laughs> which, you know, they had different categories. And I'm like, what do you really consider? Yeah, so that's really the first nothing, we've ever nothing, talked about. It was that. definitely nothing hot rod or, well, there was a hot rod class. There was a hot rod but, class, but that was for modifications and, and more they, and they, motor stuff. They had made their own specific uh, description of what these classes meant. And I was like, well, that yeah, that kind of means Hara, but that's not that's not all of it. But OK, you know, again, it's not my show. So <laughs> but yeah. So we entered into the modified and uh, yeah, and did not win. Yeah. Which is and, fine. And, and, which some, is fine. and some of the cars that did win for modified. I was like, those were those are muscle cars. Yeah. So, you know. You just got to pick your category wisely, well, people. We were, pick we your category we, wisely. I, I had no, I had no, I mean, it would have been cool to win a trophy or something because just to get Kona yeah. 5, the truck transformation project. On the map. To yeah. get a get a little trophy for it. But it, I would, I, again, it was, I just wanted to bring it to a show and see what people thought of it. And the response was exciting. People yeah. were just like geeking out of, over it. And I thought we might what, take viewer's choice. Maybe. But it was the Fiero. Was it a Fiero that won? What was it? Uh, it was a Lotus. Oh, the Lotus. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Which in it all the cool cars car. that were there, to most people who there were car people and non a lot of non-car people, mm -hmm. the Lotus itself, you go, oh, my God, look, at that's like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. Right. I, there's none of those here. So in the realms of something so different, um, I could see why it, why it would have won people's choice and it was really nice yeah it was and then um what i thought that they did was super cool this is something that we've talked coffee? about for weeks well free oh. coffee <laughs> bonus thank you first baptist yeah. uh but there was a an award given to this young boy he was 13 years well, old well that was the cool so we, we caleb. started caleb so we'll talk about caleb but yes. we were walked around uh when we first went up to the the booth to turn in our our stuff. registration yeah and there was this little go-kart sitting there all with its registration stuff red white and blue paint old school go-kart too not not modern like it looked like something out of a sears catalog back in the 60s 70s and there's this little kid he's, he looked like he's maybe nine or ten years old in his little in his lawn chair, chair. and he's just sitting there <laughs> so listening cute. to some music and on his phone and um you know, I went by and was like, "Hey, man, cool go kart!" And he's like, "Oh, thanks. I just, just, uh, just got it running this morning. Had it had to change out motors last night. You know, uh, the paint's still a little wet, but uh, yeah." I said, "Oh, yeah, you did this yourself?" He goes, "Oh, yeah, I built everything." And so, you know, he told me a little story about his car. And so then we turned our registration. I'm like, "Well, hey, man, good to see you out here." And then we left. And then next thing I know, I'm back at the car. I somebody pulls me hey can you take pictures with me i'm like yeah so i go leave to do a photo shoot <laughs> with some great people and i come back and you're sitting there talking to caleb yeah he was looking at my car he came over to to show me pictures and talk about how bad my welding was and uh... no no he was like he's you know what he said to me he's like he did a pretty good job here <laughs> i was like didn't he yeah it was cute well it is my first time so but he came back to show me some pictures of um his go-kart and the process and then he was like he's like rattling off oh you know we're, we need to get these blah blah blahs and blue and i'm like i don't know what you're talking about like he's talking yeah. about all these parts and stuff and i'm yeah. like good for you so I, I i pulled him aside and we were talking and stuff and i was like hey man it's so it's so cool to see what you're doing i said so what's what's your plan He's like, well, you know, I said, well, asked him how old he was. He, he was 10? 13. Oh, 13. Okay, 13. He's like, so 13. And he goes, well, I, I'm, I'm giving myself till 20 to get my hot rod shop going. And then, um, so, but I got to, I got to get, I got to learn how to weld first. So, cause I haven't really learned, I learned how to weld yet. He knew, he goes, he knew so how I, to solder. He, uh, I, I just want, yeah, he knew how to do stuff with electrical and stuff. He's put lights on it and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, well, that's great, dude. What, yes, welding. Definitely, there's lots of the age you're at. You can you could easily around here. There's tech schools you could go to, or I'm sure there's some welding classes you might be able to take, or whatever, or just grab a welder and start trying to learn how to weld with all the YouTube videos and stuff. He's like, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I said, and you know, what kind of welding do you want to do? He's like, well, I want to do MIG MIG welding. And I'm like, okay. I said, but learn. 
hey, try to learn how to TIG weld, try to learn how to gas weld. That's how they did it back in the 50s. And then I said, you know, do you know, try this, try. He's like, yeah, oh, hey, I did okay. But he had this total interest in like that's what he had a plan. Mm -hmm. Like his plan is to get into the fabrication uh, industry at uh, of either design or build or both and own his own place. He talked about going to technical school. Yeah, so I mean, it it was amazing to talk to somebody that young who had a had a plan. Yeah, looking at at the future and his future wasn't video games right and his future not that nothing wrong with video games again i'm not a video game hater his future was about something to do with his hands and he liked building and wanted to build and do more of that and i was like okay there is hope that's one that we know of for sure and it's just a matter of hoping that he gets in front of the right people and people continue to encourage him that that doesn't get derailed somewhere to where he ends up losing that insight of that like passion, this, that this idea of it. becoming a fabricator, a designer, a builder, and those kinds of things. So hopefully he continues to do that stuff. And then of course the cool thing that the show did, yeah, is they gave a special award out to the youngest kid, the youngest participant, mm -hmm. uh, the youngest person with a vehicle here at the show. And they gave him a big, a big trophy. So I hopefully that bigger will... than all the other trophies. <laughs> yes, it was really cool. And yeah, uh, you know, I don't neat. know if they knew that he was bringing it or what. Obviously, they must have or something. And maybe he goes to their church or something like that. Which, is, but again, that's great. So maybe he's got you know two phenomenal things ahead of him that are that are things that you know hopefully and, nobody will derail. And the name of the go kart, which I thought was awesome. Do you remember? No, I didn't know it had a name. Yeah, noise complaint. Oh, remember? that's right. That's right. <laughs> Because he said he said he's been riding yeah. it around his development and people have complained. Yeah. The cops were called. I'm like, how loud is it, this? I, would, I actually heard him start it up Did and you? it was pretty loud. Oh, I didn't hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Had a little short exhaust on it and stuff. It was really cool. So cool. But it was great. Hey, so any comments out there? Let's read some of those comments. Yes, yes. Let me scan on back. Um, we have mm -mm -mm. Um, we've got Graham Foster joining us with a happy birthday. Joe Fanning with a happy birthday. What's up, Joe? James Graham, Wilson. James, thank you so much for the happy birthday. We've got our brother Peter brother Pete. Dowdy. What's up, man? Hi, brother and sister. Um, Love David you, J. West, happy birthday, What's my up, friend. Man? Uh, Tom Diggs Morton joining us tonight. Doing How's it going? Super, doing super. Richard Hahn, hi from Alpena. Still too cold for car show, probably still a month away. I know you guys. Nothing's worse when it's cold in the peen. <laughs> And you know what? It's going to be too hot for us here soon. <laughs> um, he also says happy birthday. We've got Howard Pierpont, What's our up, Howard? buddy Howard, 65 and reigning in Mineola, Texas. Mineola, Texas. Oh, this is a neat last name. Um, Jan Dlugokinski. Okay, okay. I like it. Happy yeah. birthday there, youngster. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> There's Spud. Spud Anderson, we were at the girls helping out with some minor projects, but wanted to stop in and celebrate that we get a senior discount at some places now. Happy birthday. Yeah, Spud, right? Spud and you have uh, just a week or so yes. uh, apart high, high on five, your 55. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Lizzie said that she has another car show you might be interested in, Bay Life Car Show and Craft Fair on May 25th in Brandon. Mm. We'll take a look. Yeah. Uh, Danelle Willette is joining What's us. Up? Welcome. Um, let's see. We've got Detroit Rug Company, our buddy Nick. That's right. Hey, hey, hey. Happy birthday, man. Love you, my guy. We've got, I don't know if you can see Nick. right here. We've got the my rug dealer. Johnny Jalopy. Have, have any of you met my rug dealer? This is uh, Johnny the Jalopy Rug. That's right. The right Detroit here. Rug Company hooked us up with a Very beautiful, soft, cool, soft. custom made uh, rug. So make sure you check out my rug dealer. Yes. <laughs> my rug dealer over the Detroit Rug He's got Company. The goods. He's got, he does the, got goods. the goods. Jerry Amaral joining us. Welcome. George Bennett. Hello from Milan. Is that how you say it? Milan, Milan Michigan yep. Hot Rod Motorcycle Awareness and Suicide Prevention. Nice. Um, Gary Ploppin. What's up, Gary? Our buddy up there in George. Michigan as well. Dennis Goff What's giving up? you a happy birthday shout Thanks out. Thanks so much, Dennis. Shannon Crutch. What's happy up? Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Uh, this must be Dan Evans now. Good, good advice, Mr. Good Torch. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> He's hilarious. Peter sending his love. Oh, I love you, babe. Uh, Mike Howard, happy birthday, brother. Hope you had a great day and many more. Yeah, to it was come. a phenomenal day. Uh, just being out in the car and, it the and whole again, weekend. It, was just, it was awesome. So then the next day we took another cruise, uh, went to a little local brewery down here, parked the 
Kona 5. And again, people walked out and were like, what the heck is that thing? Right. And again, what was really interesting is when you see it next to even like, uh, you know, not full size. Well, there was a full size like Suburban and it looked like you could stick the whole car in the back of it. Yeah. But uh, then when people pull up and they're in cars that you kind of think are small, like this person pulled up in a Forerunner next to it and it was still kona looks so tiny like even a honda accord <laughs> yeah it looks so small compared yeah. to those modern uh suvs and stuff but uh we had such a it's it's been you know it's been running so definitely good and, a conversation starter because yeah. um even oh, yeah. even the, the brewery the and second, tarpon that second, we went the to the second stop we stopped at before our stop mm. uh yeah we stopped in there was an old uh it was i think it was a early or mid-70s stinger oh, oh no the stingray Oh, that's... that was there. That's what we were talking about. The next brewery. Oh, you don't even know where you went with your own story. I was talking because that was our last stop. So we, I was talking about the Bronco. Stops. Right. Okay. You were talking about the Bronco. Was there we... was a really pretty Bronco. I, I really liked it was that. It was like a 75. Yeah, it was a really nice one, but like well done. Oh, yeah. Red and white, tan I, interior. I want to say it probably had a very nice, uh, good old, like a Windsor or something in there. It was this, it was sounded good when it started really up too. Yep. Um, so it attracted a lot of attention at that one. And then, yes, we parked by the gentleman with the Stingray, um, who apparently is in a country band and yeah. we're going to go see him play. So yeah. I'm following them on. What's Facebook the name now. of the band? I forget. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Lefty McGee. And no, Fiddle I forget. I, you know <laughs> what? It's just so fun to get out of the house and just go anywhere. I mean, we enjoy, we enjoy a frosty beverage on a warm day. Yeah. But you don't have to if, if you're not a right. if you're not a drinker, you don't want to do that and then drive. Well, a lot of these places that you don't necessarily I mean, like the that uh, Tarpon City Brewery, that place has got good food. Yeah, they do. So you don't necessarily, you know, go over there, get yourself a Coke and a and a pretty yummy hamburger. And the chicken strips you had were good and man, the crisscross fries, crisscross applesauce fries. <laughs> um with that, just, with that Thai chili. Dip. Dip. Oh my God, that was so good. It's just getting out of the house and having yeah. the car seen. Like, I'm so excited that it's in running condition. Like, I couldn't wait. Once you had everything done, I'm like, when are you hooking it up so you can get it out? <laughs> Remember? Because I'm like, well, again, you, you now understand that you can drive it around in the midst in of the stuff midst that of needs to be done and finished and things. As we were sitting there at the brewery, <clears> you know, we started talking about. You know, looking at, I was like, you know, did I put the five, number five back on it? Because I'd, I'd had thoughts of maybe doing some pinstripe flames on it. And then now we've kind of changed color uh, ideas of what I was going to do. I was kind of going to go a black and white theme with it. And now <clears> I'm, <throat> I'm kind of not going to do that because we talked about some other possible mm -hmm. ideas. But then it was like, you know, if I do these hand, hand pinstripe flames, how am I going to do the five and that that kind of doesn't go. But then we were like, you know, do we put the five on the bed? It's, I want to have the five on there somewhere because it is Kona number five. It There's really not a lot of room to there's work. There's not a lot of room. <laughs> so we've got to really like <laughs> make, make good choices. For well, this especially thing. when you look at now how big <clears throat> the five, number five on the door was. It was huge. Yeah. And it does, nothing says it no, has it to be that great, big. Though, but but it I liked great. it. Yeah. yeah. I did like it. Um, I want to give a quick shout out for another... Um, young boy growing up in the car scene and that's my nephew yeah um, speaking of go-karts right yeah that's, um, that's where he started yep um he did the little midget racing go-karts and then modified go-karts <clears throat> and then like go-karts with like you know uh race bike motors on them and stuff and worked his way up through the ranks and was kicking butt and stuff and and he is 18, of, 18 yeah. 19 years old now. I think yeah, he's 19. dreams of continuing to race and wants to get into, you know, his, his aspirations to become a professional race car driver in some capacity, either that NASCAR uh, way or I, I don't know if he's thought of, you know, Formula One or Indy or any of that kind of stuff because those are other options as well. I don't know. Or, you know, any other type of stuff to go pro pro. He, um, he raced at New Egypt. It's a track in New Jersey and it's yep. a dirt track. And it's the first uh, dirt track he's been running on, and he's been practicing. Yeah, so he's running in like an open wheel, uh, like a modified car. And I forget the class was called sport sportsman. <clears throat> I forgot. Uh, and um, he's in a he's in a um, according to your t according to my brother in law, mm -hmm. um, he's in a, it was in a, a rookie class right now, which is you know, but his first run out 
What happens? He won. He wins. He won. I'm so proud of him. Awesome high five to my brother in law for setting the car up and getting it to, to, you know, that for any um, race car driver, having the car set correctly allows you your skill to really come out. Um, So he obviously that helped. And then, of course, this kid has got confidence in his in his skills Mm -hmm. um, as a race car driver. And again, you know, watching him in the go kart stuff when you would see him against other kids, even the same age as him, he was aggressive, like not, not nasty. He's not, not scared, di- not dirty, aggressive, but was aggressive. Like it, as he's going into turns and corners and stuff, he was not afraid to make room for himself mm-hmm. or not, and not, you know, not in dirty ways, but moves that, you know, if you didn't have smart, if you didn't have confidence that you could make that move could be, you know, be bad. Right. Not and, only, and he's worked and, a couple and cars. Bad and disqu- <laughs> you know, disqual or, or damaging the car, which again, <clears throat> that he knows, you know, he's got to drive that. It's not like running some car and then you damage it. And oh, because we have another body right here. Let's bring it out. <laughs> <No. Yeah. laughs> he knows, you know, there's he only, knows so, people, he, but... he only knows the budget's not huge and yeah. there's only so sad amount of parts. So you better be careful uh, with the car. And so. what's what's awesome to see is that I grew up with my my little brother as a NASCAR fan himself yeah. for years well, and kinda, years. Wasn't your, kind of your whole f- brother, both your brothers, kind of NASCAR um, fans? Stephen more than Ralph. Ralph, you, they watched. Did they get that? And I must not. I'm assuming your dad didn't seem like a big NASCAR fan. Was it just because your uncle was? He, my dad would have the races on, and then of course, you know, fall asleep course because there was always a nap involved but (laughs) if there wasn't sports on he'd have on the race um i don't know if it was his first choice but he'd have it on so my brother really cleaved unto my uncle Uh, my aunt and uncle now live in port orange we we lost my uncle a few years ago but my aunt still lives there they moved down here to be near to the daytona track because they were such huge uh, huge nascar fans Um, But they had taken my brother on the circuit with them, you know, around to a couple of the local states to all the different shows. He got to meet Richard Petty, got his, yeah, he got his picture taken with Richard Petty, which, which is why Steven's car is 43. If you look at the right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was like a big deal for my brother. So this is like, this is like my brother living his childhood sure, through by, his son. Through, yeah. Yeah, but, that, but, but, not, but not, definitely isn't <clears throat> like he's not, it uh, doesn't feel my brother is like he's going, Hey, here's, you know what you need to do kind of thing. It's, it's very, he, I, what I love that your brother's done is not only, you know, like when they were not racing, right. he made sure you're, he was at the track. Yes. Doing some sort of a job. So your brother would do All the te- kids doing tech stuff. And yeah, cause your, our niece mm-hmm. was also racing, for a while for a little bit and um when she was racing um when they weren't racing they were at the track working yeah so i thought that was great so that not only are they seeing the benefits of how fun it is to race but also seeing that hey this is a community and you got to put in too yeah and this is how you make contacts and getting to know everybody and you know sponsors the, the more people you know yeah. and, and the better better things are going to go for you as far as your life at the track mm-hmm. which i think that's that's a great lesson in in any endeavor not that you're kissing up or any of that kind of stuff but it's good to know you know that they're a part of whatever they're involved in so they're not just showing up and going well this isn't fair no this is yeah. the way it is here you know that kind of thing and there were there were a couple years where he didn't want to race and he didn't for a couple years this yeah. is this mm-hmm. is his mm-hmm. first for, going from the those other smaller cars mm-hmm. to this adult division, this is his first right. real run at that. Yeah, so well, what, super proud what, of him. What'll, what'll be interesting to see is what happens once uh, he um, is doing it on his own. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Where I don't. I don't know if he ever will. Well, I, <laughs> my I brother is a I very don't. instrumental part. I'm to just all saying, of this. as as you will he continue? You know, will he continue to do? I mean, because this is the, he's at the age right now to where. A lot of these guys are running run an F1 and doing a lot of, you know, even into the entrance of NASCAR. He's at that age to where if somebody sees him and he's good, he could they could easily go, hey, we want to get you in our program right. and start getting you prepped now. Because I'm seeing a lot of that. I've been watching a lot of F1 stuff on uh, Netflix, the Drive to Survive or whatever. And that was the interesting thing. A lot of these uh, race teams are grabbing kids his age and younger and getting them into their race programs and teaching them the fundamentals of all of their program so that when these f- drivers that are their top drivers now, you know, five, six years go by, 
and they're you know kind of losing the edge or whatever or they're not performing the way they want to there's always these backup talent that's ready to go ready Mm -hmm. to jump in a car now so and and then the technology of you know simulation and all that kind of stuff anybody else out there uh fans of racing and stuff yeah or have uh had go-karts so you know my go-kart stories is i always dreamed of having a go-kart uh, and the closest I ever got to is a friend of mine, and I built a wooden one to go down our big giant hill. Like a soapbox? A uh, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there a motor on it? No, no, it was just <laughs> all gravity. It was just all gravity. <laughs> yeah. Did you wipe out? That's what I want to know. Uh, I don't think we will wiped out, but the, I had friends that had like three wheelers and and uh, go karts and stuff like that, so I did get to ride them. And then you know the, the big dream was always you see those really cool go karts at Disneyland. You know, the ones that look like Corvettes and stuff. And I just, all I could think of is one day I'm going to get to drive one of those cars. Well, you and Kevin did build a... We did build a quote card. Yeah, we sure did. And... uh, Went pretty fast, too. It went very fast and launched him into a... Where he lost control, launched himself into a curb. Lost his shoes. (laughs) I saw was a wheel go that way and his shoe go that way. And I was like, oh, no, I hope he's okay. I mean, the (laughs) (laughs) go-kart. Just kidding. So you, you did get to make one anyway yeah it was fun and they're fun and it's a great way for young uh you know if you've got young boys or girls it's a great way to get them into the automotive culture as well get them a go-kart teach them how to change spark plugs and work on the engine and tear things apart and put things back together responsibility of owning something that's and, mechanical and being outside yeah getting outside uh, fun. Uh, mike howard said happy birthday brother hope you had a great day and many more to come sure did. Um, we've you. got uh terry kelly jr with a happy birthday greeting as well thank you to you and me both it must be his birthday nice. as well, well. Happy birthday. Uh, george bennett i'm still looking for the boy that made the volkswagen van that i showed you the pictures and at detroit autorama oh yeah 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 um alan chamberlain happy birthday thanks for sharing your art with us We've got Joe Lombardo. Sorry, I'm late to the party. Hey, from New Jersey. He was funny. He, he reposted the pictures of us outside De Lorenzo's. Yeah, De Lorenzo's. <laughs> De Lorenzo's. Oh, my goodness. Like, oh, God, i got to get back there. I know. That pizza was so good. You know what sucks? Again, we go back to the De Lorenzo story. Is we were already, uh, we ate breakfast too late. Yeah. To where I was. We couldn't really uh, enjoy oh, my it, God, the fullness could, of the it. The fullness of just chowing down on some pizza with no regrets. Well, I will tell you, we are planning a Jersey trip together. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully um, I'll get to go over Father's Day weekend. So. Yeah, because unfortunately, our plans to go out to California and the West Coast uh, cruise and nationals isn't going to happen. Uh, unfortunately, as we live, start looking at unless uh, somebody sponsors our entire trip. Yeah, well, even uh, that, yeah, <laughs> uh, exactly. Uh, we started looking at flights and holy Toledo and car jeepers creepers. It was yeah and hotel. Just it was California it was prices. Gonna, gonna be a lotto, yeah, because, a lotto. You know what? We weren't planning on vending out there. Um, we, no, because we, we did, weren't invited. Again, we we didn't. Do that, we weren't going but, specifically to do that. I don't know. And again, I don't know if we have to, you have to be. We don't know the the terrain. Right. And that was the idea going out there was to to learn Check it, it and see what what it's all about and how it all works. Um. So we could figure out, hey, maybe this is something we can do in the future. But, oh, man, oh, man, jet fuel must be raging as far as what it costs. So, yeah. I mean, at, we'll at this point, we'll we, may, this year. we may be driving to Jersey this year. I don't know. It is quite possible. Um, uh, yeah, but we'll have to skip it this year. Uh, but we are looking forward to, we know uh, for we're sure. We're locked in um, on the Missouri. On our Missouri uh, to go to the Show Me Art Show. In October. Show Me Lowbrow Art Show yes. in October. So we are excited to be invited to that. We'll be be one of the artists that are on the list. Joe Lombardo said, Race of Gentlemen Wildwood. I'll put you guys up. When is that one? Oh, the Trog. Yeah. I would, oh, man. I'm not really sure. I, I'd love to look that up. But that would be phenomenal to experience. Um, again, yeah, that's one of those. Man, it would be so cool to, yeah, to, to have a Trog uh, vehicle and just do that whole thing. It looks so much fun. October. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so we already got can't do both. we already got Missouri. Maybe next year. Yeah, we are we're thank you so much for the invite. Um, but we were again invited to my first art show. Yeah. And that's can't not, pass that uh, up. That's never happened to me before where I got invited to an art shows to be in in a art show. And so, we get to see Hicks. And we'll get to hang out with Hicks. Right in his backyard. Yeah. 
Um, so and I hear uh, also not just Hicks, but Little uh, Daddy Roth. Yeah, Little Daddy Roth should yeah. be there, and your buddy um, Dennis, 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 Dennis and a bunch of other artists. I think uh, I, I meant I meant to pull the the flyer that he sent. There's a bunch of people. I'm like maybe I should not be going to this thing. I think Hot uh, Hot Rod Jen just uh, the pin, pin the mm-hmm. pinstriper uh, girl that's just phenomenal striper um, is going to be there. So now like they're getting these high. And I'm like, maybe Johnny should not go. We're going. So we're going. I, you know, I'll, I'll then, bring my color up in my color crayons and color books, and I'll be over with the at the little with kids, the kids with the, the little kids. kids table while the real artists are doing stuff. We do plan to definitely hit some more local shows. Like I said, it's going to be hot here soon, and yeah. unless Johnny <laughs> cranks cranks it in gear a bit, uh, we're not going anywhere during rainy season without windows. So. We need to get that part done. Yeah. Well, the only thing is, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got to fix the passenger door. I got to get that. Yeah. Aligned. He's got some work to do. So he, if you and remember then, with this whole build, it, it started full force in July. I think mm-hmm. he finished in November to the point where you were well, that's satisfied with that's taking it out. I think I'm going to wait till the hottest part of the summer and, and that's when I'll jump back in. And then it. you'll lose another 40 yeah, pounds. Then so. I'll get down to my, my boxing weight of 199. <laughs> weighing in at, <laughs> um so we've got we've got some work to do on her still and yeah. we've just got to refocus um if you've been following yeah. us for any length of time you know that this year has been quite a bit quite a bit lately so, yeah there's a lot of stuff i mean yeah um yeah reflecting on reflecting on a lot of things you know in yeah. fact i just got a message from somebody and it reminded me of you know recently it wasn't, you know, it's only been a few months and I lost my mom. Yeah. And um, so that, you know, and, and even if, let's bring it down. Let's, let's really bring the, bring br- it down. Really bum everybody out. But no, you know, I, I, that no. was something that to, to, I thought about. Like today is the day that generally for, you know, since years like, and years since, and years. Since uh, I can remember where either I was woke up by, you know, greeting, a birthday greeting from my mom or, but called on the phone mm-hmm. and um yeah i miss her yeah i know i know it stinks this is going to be a, a whole year of firsts without her but yeah but we're we're, we're, we're moving on we're moving we forward and 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 again i'm i'm grateful for the time uh, i got to spend with her and uh you know i wouldn't choose anybody else as my mom you know that's why i'm here yeah. 55 years later is because of her and my dad and continuing, as as know, you know. continuing <laughs> to make them both proud because you, you are a phenomenal person and you are uh, the best of both of them. I uh, yeah, I hope so. You I hope are. I, I hope I'm doing them justice. You are, and they'd be proud of you today. Happy birthday! Oh, well, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so, what is next for Johnny Jalopy? We have talked, yeah, we talked about it in circles for years about this airbrush crap. So, what are we doing here? Airbrush crap. <laughs> what are we doing? Well, I guess you know, talking to you today, uh, I, I really need to pull the trigger and get um, get. I got to get. get I got to get my air source and get my get my stuff. Buy some new needles. Um, get you know, probably I'm sure that all the airlines I have out there are all probably crusty and nasty and and probably need to be replaced so i mean really i mean the airbrushes i have are, are probably good, just need are to be good. cleaned they just probably yeah. did in fact i think i cleaned them even before i, I always cleaned them before i put them away right so i you know I, I kept i kept good good on them i just know some of the needles had been you know when from as i was learning control i'd drop and or they'd roll off the table or whatever and as soon as the edge of, you know the tip of your needle is bent then you're not pulling any straight lines with it but then again you're just learning getting back into it you know learning all the skills that uh i haven't done for a while as far as you know pulling and your swoops all that stuff can just gun control and uh, all the things you need to do gotta get new paints we've got to get i mean you have plenty of stuff i'm watching on yeah that i'll say whatever beth (laughs) i have plenty of things to paint on like what beth all the canvases that you have in no, here. Yeah. We have t-shirts that you can. Mm, okay. Now you're with. Now there's. Fine. Huh? T-shirt. You won't, you won't do airbrush on canvas. Mm. Really? Mm. On the wood, on the metal, none of that stuff. 
What do you, what would you, Not what's your t-shirts is all you want to do with airbrush? No. What else? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we have a ton of stuff. I just, for, I just wanted to see your expertise in the air, airbrush field where you knew about all the surfaces you could paint on. Oh, you're quizzing me. I like I've claimed to be somebody who knows. I have Yet no idea. You spoke like an expert. I'm just saying we have a lot of stuff laying around for you to paint we on. You're always throwing that at me. Yes, we have a lot of stuff and nowhere to do it. So you are correct. We're, we're gonna figure it out. We I got Shaggy LeBlanc joining us. <laughs> Welcome, Thanks, sir. Happy friend. birthday, buddy. Love you. Hope you're doing good. Hope it's uh hope relief is in sight. Yes. <laughs> Um, Joe Fanning said, hey, Johnny, I'm looking for someone to do airbrush on the dash of the F-bomb. Oh, nice. He's got to get back up and running. Yeah, but I have a feeling. Where I, that's where I'm at. As, uh, in no time. It, I'm hoping. And again, every, sing, every single time I see Von Franco post ama his amazing art, it just makes you go, what am I doing, man? I got to get back. And I got to get back to doing airbrush and stuff like that. And then now this, this that new guy I told you I've been following who's been doing yep. graphics and murals. And, you know, even to last night, uh, Preston. My buddy Preston, who I met, was, I used to work with at Circuit City, he's like, yeah, man, I remember, you know, the day that I was in the break room and you came in and with all your gear and you did this giant mural on our on our break room wall with your airbrush. And then he goes, and then, they, you know, years later, I'm at a, a restaurant and then I look on TV and I'm like, holy shit, that's John Wood. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it was cool to like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess I did something with the stuff i started with doing. your skills yeah <laughs> yeah it's definitely something that's going to happen i'm going to push him to do it it's going to be happening in the next couple months where he's going to get what he needs to get going we're going to find him a place to do it where he's comfortable and has the room and time and we're yeah. going to start off small and we're going to get it done because this is again going back to when i first met you this was the art that i knew yeah you to I mean, do. that's that's what i that's what, what i did started. and it was and again, what what got me away from doing it was it takes a it takes up space. You know, you can't do it in a little. I mean, you can. You're not very neat in anything you do, no, honestly, I as an not. artist. So I am not. You do I need am, you need splatter I, space. I am definitely a messy artist, and I am definitely not an organized artist, and I am definitely like to have things every going. I need to be able to set stuff down and leave it there so that as I'm motivated again, I can just grab and move and pick up where I'm going. Mm -hmm. I can't, I, I, it doesn't work for me to do art, stop, put everything away, make sure it's all nice and tidy, put that away. So I can't look at it and then go, go away and then come back and then be able to pull it out, pull everything out, try to remember what it was I using. What did I need? What was I doing again? This is why artists have a studio. <laughs> That's and exactly I get why it. artists have studios to where they can just have space to create to where, again, art is not an organized thing. It is a, it, at least for me, I, I you know, controlled space is not going to work for me. Mm -hmm. So there's where our yin and my yang <laughs> Or maybe it's, you're it's just, and it's my a yang. space issue. I I don't have another place to put my office, so I need maybe to maybe back in the office. Which is a bedroom now. No, no, no. The building that your company owns. Oh. <laughs> See, I just uh, I just wow. do it to, I just do it because I know it's gonna drive you crazy. It's gonna be irritating. You're just jealous because I get to work from home. <laughs> I am jealous. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we are oh, at see that's when I know I irritated her enough because now she's going to well guys it's no it's it's almost 10 30. Oh I know what, what you're saying. It's been an hour. Oh I know what you're doing. I'm waiting for the I'll get the key. This is when I really know I've irritated you. Go ahead and say it. In, In any, any case. case. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. We, we could almost do uh, one of those <laughs> drinking games to where whenever Itty B says, says any, In any case, case. <laughs> and you guys could just bump quarters to me and, and I will I will make that happen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look. I want you to have your space. That too. See how we're here. We go. We're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Now we're bringing it back down. Shaggy <laughs> said to do it in the living room. We'll just we'll just tarp it. We'll just tarp everything. Can't do it in the living room. 
we're gonna find a way guys but stay tuned because airbrushing is yeah, so airbrushing is something i don't i want to do i definitely want to start doing um you know like when i pulled out the big pieces of paper and doing bigger pieces uh, i would love to do that this whole idea of this art show thing has got me like where I, I don't have you know i don't even have things to bring if i was going to make art to show art type stuff the only things i i really have done a lot of is you know my cardboard things which are all super tiny stuff you know and i guess i, I guess you could do something like that and 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 do a display of a bunch of little littles um but you, you know, were talked about doing some acrylic painting as well and then trying to do some in in not fine <laughs> art type stuff but trying to utilize you know, maybe some enamels and, and uh, acrylics and different things like that and trying some stuff that's a little out of my comfort zone, you know, again, doing, you know, the things I do and then taking those ideas and thought processes and trying to incorporate those mediums would be fun. And I think it'd be interesting to see what I could create. I've even, you know, dabbled thought around the, the, the thing with the whole um, you know, graffiti spray cans and doing, you know, that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and seeing what I can do with my style with that type of stuff. That would be cool. Um, but that's all space driven items or things where you it's you need room to do things. And so that's the challenge. And again, I'm not I'm not I'm just when we're having this discussion of uh, for being real about it. That's the that's the the hard part, which is space is limited i I'm it sounds not, I'm, like an excuse okay you say that we'll see when when you're telling me to shut up and be quiet i and, think you you learn and, to use what you've okay. got available yeah i would say good good on you take some of your own advice in any case <laughs> i'm waiting for it it is 10 you see how you got silent i didn't get silent you did i touched a nerve I'm not asking for look more at, space. Look, look at how defensive you're being. I'm not asking for more space. Your Honor, I'd like to see that the witness is being a little bit aggressive. <sighs> I'm very happy with the space that I have. I take up one little desk. That's all I got. Yeah, it's one little desk. Four and I'm screens. perfectly thrilled. What's your desk made out of? It's your drawing desk uh, that you don't use. Oh, okay. And hadn't used, which oh. is why I'm now oh, okay. using it as my desk. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we're gonna let you go because we Mommy are and daddy are fighting we are um just over an hour here so thank you for joining the podcast i love tonight. how you just take control over you think you're gonna end it it's not gonna work oh go ahead and end it then i just love how you're trying to get out of it <laughs> i'm not trying to get out of anything this was, an big, hour. this was a big topic that she had written down of like what's next for johnny jalopy and i'm like you sure you want to talk about this subject because i'm going to talk about it and then I knew, I knew when we, we, as soon as we started pulling this, this particular t subject up, this was going to trigger something in you to where you're going to be defensive and thinking that I'm saying something about your space when I'm not saying anything about your space. What I'm saying is in order to do what I'd like to do based on what I just said, mm -hmm. I need room. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, see it? stay tuned for an addition <laughs> on our home so that Johnny has a smash room. <laughs> a smash room? Yeah. What's a smash room? Where you can do whatever you want in there, and I'm never going in it, and I'll never have to see it, and I won't be tidying it, and it will be just your whole space. We're, so I say we enclose an area back here where you have. Right. Put a little air unit in. I got an idea. We turn. We concrete the pool. Right. Right make an underground no we concrete the pool mm -hmm. right we enclose that whole situation oh that would be huge right and then we put you out there yeah yeah or i get my own little studio or we lease unit. an office where you could go to your own office or we can lease a studio Ooh. and you could go to the studio okay. stew stew like we can come to an agreement here <laughs> Who's leaving who? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Next on divorce court. Oh my gosh. Man All cave. Right. Listen, no, you've you've given me tons of spaces, and then it, this has nothing to do where you said I can't have any space. We we've we've willingly given up multiple spaces in our home. Willingly, right? Mm -hmm. And we've 
you and I have basically basically in that compromising of willingly giving up the, the spaces that could be utilized for th- lots of different things. We've both basically put ourselves in the smallest room dedicated to both of us in the house and have shared that space. Mm-hmm. And it's it's been working out and it's been workable and it's been doable. So that's it's it's not it's not like we're either one is forcing I'm just saying it was a it was a shared compromise of space. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because you're talking yourself off a ledge. <laughs> Who's on a le- I'm talking you off the ledge. I'm not on a ledge. Oh, I'm fine. So, uh, that is the worst acting you've ever done. Why are we having this discussion? Because they right need to now. see this. They need to see how, how I, real we are. I here. want you, I would, yeah. I don't want them when you when you when I come to work tomorrow with black eyes and <laughs> <laughs> that they go what happened to you johnny and i'm like just watch youtube and you'll see it's all right there it was triggered by i'd like to have a space i can be messy and there will be no messy in here yeah tune in at the uh <laughs> 57 minute mark because then there's going to be eight minutes of uh of apologizing your, no of and, your silence oh i haven't been you, silent the entire time uh, oh you got silent no i did yes you did no, you I got didn't. triggered and then you then you were silent for a second so i'm not gonna argue <laughs> you're so funny i oh, oh, love it see how gosh. awkward and uncomfortable it just got yeah as people tuned out this is what we do look we're, we're down to 21 viewers i know <laughs> it's because we're too long we should have cut this off six minutes ago when i tried to end it so would you please end go it go ahead and end it no oh now now you're gonna go let ahead. me go ahead I'm Eddie B. This is Johnny Jalopy. I am Johnny Jalopy. Whose birthday we are celebrating. (laughs) Yes, my birthday. Allow me to be what I want to (laughs) do. I can be all I can be. Oh, my goodness. Guys, we will be back here (laughs) next Monday, hopefully um, with a new idea for drawing. Oh, I thought you were saying, hopefully, if I can make it through the week. Maybe we'll do something old school. Oh, actually, I do have an idea. Maybe the six pack. Oh, we did watch that movie. Well, I watched some of it and then you fell asleep. It was it was a good movie. Kenny Rogers, man. I and six. Anybody I love else watch some Kenny Rogers? Anybody else watch six pack? The great. Has anyone else fallen asleep through it? The, the great race car film six pack with Kenny Rogers. It was cute. And a young, young. Uh, it was a Diane Lane and uh, yes. uh, Diane Lane and. um kid from 16 candles mm, blah, 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 blah. charles nelson no charles nelson riley <laughs> no uh <laughs> anthony michael hall yes it was three, it was uh, three, three names yeah. <laughs> and then uh, kenny rogers <laughs> and then the, the lady that played like the lead in silver spoons i think or dynasty or some <laughs> she was always the love interest in some made for showtime Any skinamax who. deal was she? Yeah, oh yeah. And then she was on Silver Spoons? I think she was, yeah. She was the love interest. But anyways, that was a great film where uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Or Dale Earnhardt, excuse me, Dale Earnhardt, like early in his NASCAR career, because he was still driving the 15 car uh, for Wrangler. And um, Richard Petty was still racing. Mm-hmm. And they named all those famous race car drivers as old Kenny Rogers takes first place. <laughs> <laughs> but his name wasn't Kenny. Rogers. No, it was what was his name? I don't know. Come on. S- his last name is Scroggs. Scroggs? Yeah. Oh. Helms Helmsley? <laughs> <laughs> Helmsley? <laughs> Not what it was. Clyde. No. Clyde Scroggs? Scroggin. Scroggin T. Scrog and T? Scrog and T Scroggs. No, it was not. <laughs> what was his name? It was like Clyde. No, it was it like Clyde? When she was all up on him. Who, who, Hi, Clyde. Who's Brewster? So good. Oh, Brewster. Was it Brewster? Punky? <laughs> <laughs> Brewster Baker. Oh, we need to let Brewster these people Baker. Go. Yes, Brewster Baker. Brewster Joe Baker in the 49 car coming around the outside turn beating Dale Earnhardt and Richard Petty and all those other NASCAR guys, because he's Kenny Rogers. That was way before the roasters. Yeah. It's and good. he did have, there was a scene where they were eating with chicken. KFC. They were. <laughs> so funny. And he's doing shirtless 
All right. Anyways, does anybody really need to see Kenny Rogers shirtless? I did. It was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked it up because, like, in my mind, I'm looking on like he's got to be like 70 here, and he was only like 52 or three or something. Uh, yeah, he was in his mid 50s. I was like, wow. And I was like, dang, Kenny looks pretty good for that. He did. Look, he he ran up all the steps. He was in good he shape did. in those nasty Nikes and bell bottoms. All right. Horrible. Hey, right, um, <laughs> we're gonna call that a good another Monday night in the books. You saw what happened. We turned into a physical physical altercation, and I brought it back down with crowd control. <laughs> All you got to do is mention Kenny Rogers, and everybody gets weepy and starts thinking about. You got to know when. No. Hold them. Oh. What? Lady. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> From the moment that I saw you, I was like, give me more room in my art room. Anyway. No when to fold them. Trigger. <laughs> All right, Dale All right, Evans. Guys. Let's go ahead and get it take off. All hey, right. uh, make sure you head on over to ChinaJalopy.com. Yes. Hats, stickers, t-shirts. We sure appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Hopefully you had some fun and some laughs. And uh, you won't see me with a black. It was Brewster Baker. That's right. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you won't see me with a black eye in the morning. So with that being said, I'm Giant Jalopy. This is called Couples Fighting. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy, enjoy we'll see money. you guys soon take care see ya stay sketchy, sketchy.